Hi there. In the short lecture, we will be learning now customizing the file explorer interface. Within this short lecture, we will learn more about the file explorer, how to configure this interface to get what we wanted or what we are looking. We can easily find all that information directly from the interface if we can, you know, configure a couple of steps. Let's see. I have a sample files already copied to the documents and the projects. I have a couple of files here under sub project, like some of them are Word documents, some of them are JPG files. If you see here, uh, this is the view called a detailed view. And within this view, if you see, this is just the details. So within this detailed view, you are able to, uh, you can, you could actually sort with the name example so name with the sort uh, this would be the descending order you could you know sort with the ascending order uh, meaning alphabetic order here and then you could also find based on the dates like you know uh, modified this year yesterday or today you could see here and you could you know filter like this easy to find all this information and also type of the file let's say i wanted to know all the jpg files example this is a jpg since the extension is able to read here we could open this as a file uh, which consists of a photograph right and you could even sort this uh, directly uh, from if by filtering only jpg files so that it just shows the jpg file information and the remaining will be hidden or it will not show you in a view but in case if you want everything you don't need to do anything and also you could also sort based on the size as well as the uh, size based you could also sort it and this is the default view for details so now let's say I wanted to view what is this uh, example this jpg files in a, a bigger view because uh, like you know there could be some sun photo I wanted to you know view with example in that case what I can do is I could actually go for large icons which will preview the file uh, and this preview would be really good uh, in case if you want to you know view for photographs but not for the word document if you see we can't see the content but you know a little content for the PDF files we could see it but not for complete word document files right so this is the view for large icons and you could also use the extra large icons it doesn't looks good but in any case if you just wanted to view you could always view into the extra large and medium icons also another option and the small icons another option uh, here but you don't get that you know flexibility with more detailed version right and in the view you also have the compact view which is a smaller view and tiles only this is uh, so the these are you know a couple of different options you have it but you can always play with this now we also have another option here with the three dots which will show here under options in case if any file is hidden we can always view from a view so hidden files also can be show hidden files in drives so that you could you know see in any case if any file is hidden mode okay and also we would like to see the extension uh, if you see here this is ch280 and 281 is the pdf files but you don't see the extension but just the above this you have extension called admx uh, since it is unknown uh, unknown file extension that's why it's actually listing but for the known or the common things we don't see here right for example word or maybe excel file or uh, access we don't see so if you want to get that extension of the file type you have to actually click for known file type so this one should be unticked and apply then immediately you would see here the extensions for example these are the word documents so you have a doc or docs format and similarly for jpg you also have here uh, dot jpg files so if i just you know a little bit expand uh, 
you could see here jpg files and i can sort it uh, based on the file type in a better way and i can see here these are the jpg files these are the document files these are the pdf files so i could use this method to view in a better way so that my file explorer gives a great experience for me in order to customize uh, the interface for me let's also try the grouping option let's say i want everything should be in a alphanumerical but i wanted to group all the word files to a group and the jpg files into a, a different group based on the file type so how would i do is i would actually go to the sort so i've already selected for the ascending order but the group is i want it based based on the file type so i can simply click on type so that what would happen is all the admx files which are uh, close to 12 will be grouped and i can you know expand if i want or group it and then i could also see for the jpg files are close to 11 and i could you know play like this by sorting so you also have an option for grouping based on the ascending and the group by options the other option would be in the view you also have your compact view and the show navigation pan so which is nothing but this pan so this is called we call it as a navigation so if you don't want that navigation pan simply take out so that it gives you more uh, screen a uh, screen width for you so that you could view more detailed information and in case if you want to again uh, walk on instead of the detail views or you want to you know navigate view you could actually take it back these settings so these are the things that you could you know explore more uh, for when for windows uh, file explorer and you welcome to know more and more I hope this short lecture is useful for you in order to understand or the options or the possibilities that we have with the file explorer thank you for watching this